Uh, yeah, Raven, I just, uh, I'm so glad I'm here with yeah. you. And I just want to have, I want to really have a heart to heart real quick with you. What? What? Sorry, I'm just trying to get this last bit of iced coffee out of here. You keep uh, talking. I'm listening. Uh, okay. I just, this, I know we have a bit of awkwardness right now. I'm listening. But, okay. Okay. I just, I, but you know, um, no, we're I'm totally not, on the same page. Just going to, oh, okay. I just want to know you feeling this. <sighs> Almost there. You know, I'm just gonna get in the shower. Love is blind, take one. Love is blind. Love is blind. It's reality gaze presenting. Love is blind. And I'm going to watch you <laughs> while contemplating your death. <laughs> she hates him. She hates him. <laughs> she hates him. <laughs> when he was snoring during that sound bath. <laughs> like, she's so annoyed by him. Oh, she is so annoyed by him. She kind of wishes she wasn't in the experiment, I think. She's I think trying so. to make the best of this. She wants out. She wants out really bad. She wants out. Y'all, this is Love is Blind, episode four, and boy. Meeting the exes, or is it meet the exes? Meet the exes, I think. Meet yeah. the, meet, meet your exes, actually, is what it was meet called. Meet your exes. Boy, this was a Were good episode. Exes? It's you know, it's a weird thing. They're not exes per se right. but, but they did date i mean so look think about it so they were in a relationship with this they were courting this person for like two to two three weeks or whatever that's a long time for you if you were in <laughs> one of your guys and like these people i often date people more than one person at a time so yeah, it's true. And yeah. like like my m- me and my and my wild thirties, often there was a just a wall between us. Usually there was a <laughs> hole uh, a for glory. glory hole. Yeah, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I guess so. I the idea of this show when they're when they propose and they're matched, it was really interesting. I think it was Cole who said this that. Now you're seeing people for the first time. It's it is kind of unfair in a way that now you have to interact with these people who you also dated and cuz they're human beings, we're going to have regrets. We're going yeah. to. Cole it, really he he described that well actually. And uh boy, I think he's a lot smarter than we gave him credit for. <laughs> Again, like yeah. Barnett. Yeah. Boy, but we um, were wrong about that. Right now, who's giving you the most red flags of of anybody? Well, it's not that Raven's giving me red flags. She's just not into it. So I don't really yeah. have red flags with that as much because I feel like any literally everybody at that party, if, except for SK, could tell that she wasn't into him. Everyone, you know, you know who's giving me red flags? Fucking Bartice, and we called this. I. I actually who's giving me red flags is uh and I don't can't tell which one it is cuz I go back and forth Alexa and Brennan. Oh no, don't say that. Yeah. I was feeling the same things too. They're giving me red flags. It's a little more and honestly a little bit more of Alexa. I know. I'm worried about her. I'm God, worried about y'all. her. Golly, y'all, we're we're remote, but goat. I'm in I'm in the ATL, and Poodle's going to join me tomorrow because we're recording this early, so we're starting our live double it tour. So too late now, though. If you didn't come, then well, <laughs> you missed out. You missed it, and we didn't miss you. <laughs> Honestly, maybe next time you'll plan better. Well, you know, we were trying to get Lauren and Cameron to come to our Atlanta show. Maybe you probably missed them coming. They're not going to come. But um, that'd be nice. But um, uh, 
the uh, I think Damien and Gigi showed up. Yeah, because you're hearing this later. Yeah, yes, yeah. Damien and Gigi yeah. were there. It was great. All these people. Yeah, Nick Lachey came to my hotel room. Raphael Warnock came by and said <laughs> hi. You know what? He emails me enough. He, he might he as well. Me. He gave the the benediction. He did. God, that man emails me every damn day. <laughs> you give him money once. Well, uh, he came. He came by to have fun um, after uh, all the news that's going on with Herschel Walker. <laughs> oh, oh boy, that's a whole. That's actually crazier than this show, and that's saying yeah, something. Yeah, we're we're recording. We're recording this uh, on around October sixth, y'all. So things things could break even farther. So. Uh, Who anyway, even knows. But anyway, y'all, thank you for jumping on our Reality Gates Plus content to listen to Love is Blind. Um, let's just jump into this because, like you said, I already this is a good episode. But then when we saw the when you texted me, well, I was <gasps> I was I was literally watching coming next or coming. I up. lost my mind. I had it too. My mouth dropped. I I can't even tell you. I'm just. I think this season, I think if, if I need to pull back and kind of get a more bird's eye view, I think season two tried too hard. I agree Season with that. three, I think this is just, these are these people. And I think a, it a might be just right. Of, I think a certain group, uh, enough of these people are messy. Uh, like Colleen's going to be so messy. They're so, but I think. I kind of think because it's you know we just watched episode ten again to record for uh, uh, from the vault, and I do think that yes, season one there were some of the couples were really magic, but some of them like Kenny and Kelly. There was a couple that were duds, or like Rory, yeah. he was a but he was a dud. But every single one of the couples on this season, I'm very interested in and I'm invested in so far. I agree. Um, more for luridness in some ways, because the Bartis and Nancy thing, y'all, it's going to be a slow motion car wreck. She's going to get very, <sighs> she's going to get really nervous fast. Um, I, I cannot yeah. believe what he said to her at the end, which we will talk about. We will I talk. I cannot about. believe he said that. Let's start. Okay. First, we'll talk about kind of couples. There's not too much except for. And then uh, we're going to talk about the party. The pizza, pizza party. party. But you're it's gonna not a pizza, pizza party. Yeah. You're going to want pizza. You're stop. For Colleen and Matt, y'all, they. um They banged. They fucked. They fucked. They fucked. So, um. They both enjoyed themselves. Matt, Matt is like when he looks at her, he seems so just like he's so Gaga. He is Oof. super, super, not super into Lady Gaga, the singer. You fags, no, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean Gaga. Uh, so, someone listening out there, oh my god, he just said Gaga. <laughs> he just said Gaga. No, but he's there's I'm a much, lobster. There's not much to talk about them. Is it kind of in because the way y'all were going to talk about this episode is we're going to talk about the kind of beginning half was them as couples, and then the second yeah. half was the party. So we're going to talk about the first half, talk about everybody, and, and break it up. They didn't have much. They're in love, and they seem to love and one another, and they had the, good sex. They're on the beach later on, though, right? Is that Colleen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but again, they're just kind of like everything's well, going he, so well. He isn't basically, it? he she basically says. If we were out there, would you come up to me at a bar? And she yeah. says, I would have never met you because you're not on Hinge. You're not on anything. Yeah. And and he said, well, I would have definitely come up to you even though you're out of my league. But I would have come up to you with a joke. She's like, that's really hot that you would have come up to me. Uh, so I – and and then the, I like Matt to says also – he says in 30 days we're going to be married, y'all. Just so you know, they have four weeks. I liked it when she said, I'm a big booty. And he's like, how about some sashimi? And she went, sashi wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> if we could remove the phrase, I'm a foodie or we're foodies from all reality television, I would oh. be very appreciative. Oh, God. Also, that light fixture behind you is so distracting, and I don't know oh, what's I'm, going on. It's so pretty. I love this hotel. I'm staying at the Epicurean in, in Atlanta. I like it. Don't say where we're staying. This is going to air after. Oh, never mind. You're right. <laughs> I Jackie would kill me, y'all, because Jackie, our Facebook moderator, is worried one day someone's going to want to wear our skin. Wear our skin. <sighs> Maybe. 
Maybe. Uh, so let's talk about next is um, dancing and Bartice. Them. Yeah, Bartice, uh, Bartice and Nancy. They he he basically says he's continuing to skeeve me out, and it didn't okay. happen in the pods. Okay, I he's don't not, know. Okay, speak to that. He's not skeeving me out, but giving me some red flags. I think it's, I think it's the way he talks about her. And the way he talks to the camera feels like he needs he needs he knows how he needs to do this for for the camera to be at the same time playful, but also not give enough away. I feel like he's putting on a persona. I and think, maybe that's him. I was going to say, I think maybe you're getting kind of triggered by or not triggered, but just kind of hackles raised because it. uh it does – you do wonder when I'm watching him. I go, is this you or are you performing? Yep. That's what I it feels like to me. I can't fully tell, and it's it's really like – and I, I realized that actually later on in the party when the guys were talking and yep. Matt was describing his greatest fear, like I worry someone's going to be playing along, and I went, huh, is Bartiz like playing along or trying to convince himself of something or – yeah, I here's why I why it feels that way to me. You can just the way he is looking into camera, it feels like he's like this will be really good on camera if I say this. Or which which is someone who's comparable to him who I think is Cole. Cole actually has a ton of self-awareness. Um and he does and, and he can be slick, but in his confessional moments or in the moments, he's not. And Bartice, I feel like, is that same slickness. And I don't know, you know, you and I work in this field. And if we were on a reality show, I don't. I think I would probably self-edit as I talk. So I think but, self-editing is different, though, than what I'm but, talking about. But it does. I think, though, what I was going to say is that it seems like there would be self-editing while I talk. But it almost feels like with Bartice, it's, it's coming from a place of... uh. I don't want to say it. Never mind. You're just going to go off if I say it. What? Go is, ahead. Is this coming from a place of wanting to be wanted? Well, yes. Oh, you mean wanting to be wanted? Needing to be needed. No, I can't go that high. Um, oh, do we have a late is, night? I did. Finally. It wasn't even that late of a night. Um, I'm also just super phlegmy. So but anyway, so yeah, there's it, but I, I yeah. just want to, one more thing to follow this up. Yeah. It's, and maybe this is just him. I, I mean, I don't I, know. I agree with I, you. I don't I, know. I, he's like, we had a good first night. Kind of like consummate a little bit, you know, Nancy had to take a shower in the middle of the night. Sex was great. She I mean, had amazing fun. fuck me. She had amazing fuck me hair that morning. Yeah. And. Great. There's just, there's, it's something to do, maybe, and this is the thing, maybe this is just him. And everything is, he says, tries to get a reaction out of her. And I feel like there's not, the, the communication doesn't, that he says to her, doesn't feel authentic. It's to get a reaction out of her. The, and that's yeah, the player vibes to me. The only thing, it's either, because the way at the party, it's either he really is that with her and we're just getting mixed vibes because they're producing stuff to make it make us feel like he's kind of could waffle. But yeah. I don't think that's it. I think we don't know well enough, but I think it's really him. But one thing we've learned from this show, y'all, is Jake and I are terrible judges of character on Love is Blind. <laughs> we're always well, wrong. It's because the editing reigns supreme. Yeah. And and I see so I don't know if I don't know if that that's I think that's on them. And, no, yeah. and so he, he does say the best part, he's like the best, she's, she's like, I love every part of his body, but the sex came from an emotional connection. So y'all, she is so into this. She, I, she would get married tomorrow. Which, and you know, he said the same thing. He says that too. So although he talks out of both sides of his mouth later on. And yeah, it was. It's a, but they have a conversation. They're, they're at the beach, and they have a conversation about age. And um, Nancy says, you know, I'm not going to tell my friends your age because I don't want them to judge you. 
Yeah. She said, it's not going to be an issue with my parents. They won't care. And Bartiz is kind of like, he says, you know, you know what I think it is? He said it. He said, well, he said, I don't care about that either. He said, you know, when I have my list of things, you check every box off the list. You check every list. And I went, Does, okay, but it almost feels like the emotional component feels forced. So it's like, yeah. It, so you wonder, like, I don't, I don't think he's an asshole. I actually like Bartice a lot. But I think in this situation, I, it does feel like he went, he's a personal trainer guy. He's at work. He's like, okay, yeah. you hit every single blah, blah, blah point I need. You're perfect on paper. I think it was, you know, because we, 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 we are porn addicts for authenticity on reality shows. So we're like, more authentic, more. And we want to see people cry. We want to see people broken down. Even in his vulnerable moments, he, like, his, he told a story and it felt like he was just, like, reciting his grocery list. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. and uh, that may be him. I don't know. But it, it, it seems not to jive with the rest of the men. Um, What's that noise? That sounds like a clown horn. <laughs> Something just went. Oh, hey. bah, bah. oh, God, is my room haunted? But compare that to someone like Brennan or Matt. Oh, I think someone's in my room. <laughs> someone's oh. in your room. But maybe he's just Mr. Good Time Party Guy. And that's the role he needs to play. Um, because everyone it, seems to really like him. That, but that's true. But it's hard to be it's hard to be married to that for a long time. Like it's been years with a good time party guy because they don't seem like they have any but but I guess Nancy doesn't want that, but he doesn't seem like he has any depthness or or he would be deep. Yeah. I, I just <sighs> I don't know. I'm I'm he, going back. We don't know yet. I don't. I regardless. I think what you're getting to, and what I'm getting to, we don't feel like we know him. Yeah, he frustrates me because when we've had someone like this before, even when we had someone like Barnett, maybe maybe we were the same way with Barnett. No, we hated He's, him at, in the pod, and then ate well, we're out we're out of the pods now. But yeah. maybe you're right. But there was something that I don't see any circumspection in him, and it's serious. And I don't think he's take. That's why it feels like he's just there for a reality show to me. I don't. I, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe he's there for a reality. Or maybe he treats everything serious in life as like training for like a five k. Like, let it's not 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 serious, but it's just on this kind of shallow level. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Regardless, I me, agree with you. This is gonna burn. Oh, it's gonna burn. It's gonna and burn. I just, ugh, yikes! Um, so, they can't stop kissing each other though, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, they have a lot more physical cash connection than Alexa and Brennan. They do, and like like you, I'm a little worried here. I think he is so into her. He's saying things like "We're the same person," blah blah blah, and and he snored last night, and and she's like, "I need some syrup," and he's like. Oh, I do too. We're the same. We're on the same page. I was like, "Calm down." He, <laughs> no, no, he needs to he calm is down. It's Gaga. Like, but again, though, it's like he's Gaga, but at the same time, it, it's that you you both like cheese it, so you're on the same page. Yeah. It just makes me feel like is there? He was he. I feel like he is acting different. In the pods. I mean, Alexis too, but I feel like Alexis still seems kind of introspective and thoughtful. And Brennan came off that way more in the pods. And now he just seems kind of like lovesick puppy. Just looking yeah. at her. And it's a little desperate because yes. I, think he, I think he senses her energy too. And he's kind of like trying to, he thinks he has to be a cheerleader, which kind of, it's not working for her. And it probably is going to turn her off. Um, but God, I don't know. I don't know who's going to end up together or not. Um, and late, later on, he says, I'm so excited for meeting my family. You're going to meet Carol. You're going to meet Pop Pop. You're going to meet uh, Isadora and all the family. My, 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 dog, my dad's dog, Tiny, and like all these all people. Of them. And she's like, great. Uh, and then he keeps saying, we're the same fucking person. Again, y'all, stop saying that. 
It Stop sounds that. weird. <laughs> he does say, my mom's going to love you. And she doesn't love anybody, including me. And I went, I can't wait to meet mom. <laughs> can't wait to meet mom. I, I think he's still in the giddiness of it. So I kind of give him a pass a little bit. Um, Because if I hadn't seen him in the pods and saw how kind of deliberate he was in the pods, I would think this person is a red flag. Uh, I, I I think, yes. I feel like there was a different person in the pods. Yeah. So, uh, Alexa basically says that my family, like we're so mean to one another. It's like Israeli family. We're just like saying loud. We're crazy. And he's like, Oh, I don't even curse around my family. Like I'm sitting up straight. She's like, yeah, not my family. That's not going to be it. I, I also realized that I know this is a thing with people from a certain generation. Alexa saying like ev- almost every other word is starting to grate on me. I wish you wouldn't <laughs> have said that. <laughs> now I will notice it. I mean, I say oh. it. Too. We both say it. Oh, but no, there no, is no. A that says it all the time. She's said, oh, you'll hear it now. I, I'm sorry I brought it up because it will start to bother you. Like, well, and like, 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 yeah, it's, it's something. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, y'all. I'm the ruiner. I will ruin something for you. Speaking of, let's talk about Raven and SK. What a segue. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, this was Not since Kenny and Kelly have we had. <laughs> Does it, did it feel like you're in bed with your sister? Oh. Um. This was no. I don't know, but maybe what, you'd have more. Cons- maybe you'd have more in. Con- maybe you'd have more in common with your sister. Maybe, but this feels different. With Kenny and Kelly, it felt like brother and sister. This feels like like two siblings. That this feels like Cersei Lannister and a brother. They or, they just kind of hate each or other. Or maybe so this feels like a meeting with your accountant <laughs> that's happening in a bed. You're just or, upset by it and sad. <laughs> something. Yeah. So y'all. They are, uh, they're doing Pilates and they got that ring. We, we know about that ring, that circle. We do. I we hate go to the that same, thing. We go to the same Pilates teacher, Chaz, y'all. Oh my God. And so she's, she's having fun with him. He's not really, he, you can tell it's wearing him out. Um, she's like, I'm bossy. I want him to do it right. So it turns out last night they stand up talking a long time, which good, I guess. Uh, code word, code for, we didn't fuck. Code, I wanted to say I've been talking with him so that way he didn't try to touch me. <laughs> I think she's, she is, if I, I know Raven, I kind of think, I have a little insight into what I think she's, she's thinking. You, but You are Raven. <laughs> we share a lot of characteristics. But what she's thinking is, I will get something from this experience and I will get I will work on being more open and vulnerable to another person. And this is this is helpful, and like this it's, is I'm a gonna, stepping stone. Like yes, she won't be or, with him, but I'm going to give the experiment a chance. That's what she's thinking because nothing else has worked. I agree and, with that, but I agree with that. I think she is about self involvement. But the thing is, boy, talk about someone who can't let go of the patterns that give them excitement and the patterns that make them feel alive in life yeah. because those patterns are not the same patterns she's telling herself she needs in a relationship. And what's so interesting is if you put Bartise on one side and Raven on the other, I can't stop watching Raven because I'm wondering, what is she thinking? What is she thinking? Yeah. And at the same time, I'm with Bartise. I don't know what you're thinking either because I don't know if it's real. This is they're they're at polar opposites of this. It's and because she's so watchable. Because at any moment you have no fucking clue, none. Um, and she's just y'all. She's shaking that iced coffee like we did in the very beginning. God, she just. It you know what? It really makes me. I really like SK, and I think he's a really nice guy. And I watch this, and I'm like. You're too good of a guy to not be not to be adored, to not be loved, to not yeah. be courted. I you know the thing is though he's too good of a guy but it's just that's not for her. She no. needs she needs someone with pushback. I I also think he really hasn't showed a lot of who he is either. He's really 
Uh, Y'all, I'll tell you what Raven needs, and I know, because this bitch looking at me in my computer screen is the same way. She needs a little danger. She does. That's exactly what she does. And SK is... He's a little choking. SK is so safe. He ain't never going to choke you, girls. He's so planned out. He is so just ready. Like, totally, honestly, he out of... He probably is more my type, but not Raven's. Yeah, but you also need people to be vulnerable, and I don't think he. Maybe he can be later, but he's just not doing he anything right about now. His childhood. He. T- I felt like he was more vulnerable than Bartiz. That's true. You're. You're exactly right there. Um. So they're doing the sound bath. If y'all, I would. I would highly recommend a sound bath if you've never done it. It's amazing. I've never done one. Oh, it's so cool. Um, he falls asleep and she is just pissed. This feels personal to her. Yeah. <laughs> and then she brings up, she says, you know, uh, the being around you is still a little awkward. And she's like, you know, I think we could maybe connect if you weren't napping all the time. Yeah. So if apparently he's, so ar- he's already taken a nap. He's already taken two naps today. <laughs> where uh, she, oh man, she just wants well, where I, she I will be, want, oh. I will be honest. I would also take that personally if someone had napped twice that day. And I know oh, I it's at all. And I know that's not personal. I know that's just something, a thing he needed, but I would, I don't know what it is. I would, I'd really? be like, we're trying to connect and you took two naps today. I would feel like, yeah, I wouldn't think that at all. If you're just, if you're just relaxed, I mean, you just got out of this experiment. You're exhausted. You've been there 24 hours, but you only have four weeks. So I would think about, but I'm saying the, as the idea of him, I, I, I understand why she's pissed. I would, I would, it would feel personal to me that I'm not interesting or, or trying to make a connection with me isn't worth your time. So I'll just nap. Yeah. I don't see. I mean, I understand why you think that. I don't think that's the case at all, but, um, I'm just trying to say, I understand her perspective. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I guess actually I don't understand her perspective, but (laughs) that's okay. I don't have to. No, I didn't understand the part about where muffins, they, they want to, and he's like a data person. So he, they're going to argue over what they're called and they, they need <laughs> razzle dazzle. And he's like, so basically they're having, they're talking about nothing because they can't connect on anything. Right. So they're really just talking about, you know, again, they're saying she brings up, I know there's some awkward vibes. We're still kind of connecting. And I'm like, girl, like you seem less connected than you were 24 hours ago before you got there. And yeah, but whatever. I, I also, I need to correct the record here. Muffins and cupcakes are barely even in the same family. I actually, I I agree. When SK said, actually, I feel like cupcakes are more delicate. I went, you're right. They are. But they are. You don't immediately just put something on a muffin and it becomes a cupcake. I, I, they're, they are right. The ethos of these two things could not be further. They're eaten at different times of the day. You can yes. eat a cupcake for breakfast, but you'd much rather eat a muffin. Your blood sugar will spike and then you'll crash. You'd much right. rather have a muffin. Right. I, yeah, I a, crash a, from a muffin too, though. One of those big uh, Otis Spunkmeyer muffins. Well, those are just sugar. Those are basically cupcakes, those Otis Spunkmeyer. That's true. They, make, they that, give me heartburn. No one gives that, a shit about any of this. Doesn't Otis Spunkmeyer sound like a gay porn actor from West yes. Virginia with a huge dick? <laughs> and like he's got coal on his face. <laughs> hey, y'all. Somebody want a fucking? I came right from the mines to uh, bring you my coal. My name's Otis Spunkmeyer. <laughs> Spunkmeyer. Meyer, yeah. <laughs> but Spunkmeyer means spunk maker. <laughs> so that would have that would have even been better. Every time I see Otis Spunkmeyer, I think jizz, though, but because th- that's just me. Wow. I guess Spunk. I did, too, because I made the joke. Yeah, I guess yeah. I did. So it, and I wrote in this conversation, it's not just danger. I think Raven, I think being in a relationship with Raven is exhausting. It is. Because and- I think Raven 
needs everything at an 11 in life. Always. It this, always has to be an 11. Always. This experiment is not right for her, but I'm so glad she's here. No, because you actually say that. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm speaking too. It makes sense why she doesn't like the nap thing because that feels like you're you're slowing down. You're stopping. It's not an 11. It's not the go, yeah. go, go. I, yeah. I, I get that. I guess I'm thinking – it also, to her, because I can think about it, it also means that you're not trying as hard as I'm trying. And that's a projection. Um, oh, yeah, but, that's her, That's totally her stuff. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. disagreeing. I was just saying that that projection, in addition to she needs to, we don't stop. We get up, we work out, we go yeah. do this, we go. We don't ever take a rest. Yeah. It's, it's, it's weakness for her. It is weakness for her. That's to exactly stop, what it to is. To rest, to nap, that is weakness for her. Because... When you stop, when you rest, then you start thinking about emotional things, and she does not want to do that. I, I think I agree with you, but I think that's reductive. I think she would like to talk to him, but even though they're talking in circles, but him napping or doing anything that's not actively involved with her feels like a betrayal. I and don't think she wants to talk, though, about anything really – really really deep though or takes a while for because she really didn't open up that much in the no, i you're right enough bartiz calls it they are both they are both actually of anybody the most alike i think they on are the show they are yeah even yeah. though weirdly on camera they perform they could not be more different yeah yeah, 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 yeah. um so uh the little bit i think was there anything else i think it was that was the last thing with them uh Oh, there, it's, there's more. I'm sorry. Um, he does say – they talk about their attraction level. And she says someone – or maybe he says this. Um, someone needs to, to be the – to take an organic lead. And that's the muffin conversation. And he says, I'm attracted to you definitely. And she's like, you're way above average. Y'all, that's Yikes. some word choices. Um, Way above average. It's, yeah, you know, it's more than normal, guys. But I, but I understand. I understand what she's saying. But that word choice means I'm going to have to really work at this. <laughs> but again, kind of like Bartice, they both say things to the other person they're dating, and they don't mean it to be. But I'm like, that seems a little callous and a little cool yeah. that you're saying I, that. Like and that. I weirdly, I but but as someone who's a data scientist, I don't think he he takes doesn't take any it at offense. all. Yeah, uh, I don't think he reads her emotions well like at all. Nancy's really not going to take anything Bartiz says well. No, 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 no. So there's this moment where uh, he says, "There's this block between us." And we might have been thawing it a little bit, but as soon as the block thaws, that's when the razzle dazzle happens. And obviously, razzle dazzle is some kind of icing on a cupcake slash muffin. Yep. It's cream cheese. Is it, it sprinkles? Give them the old razzle dazzle. Oh, wait, it block's not melted. Never mind. <laughs> The, I wrote down. There's so many metaphors being mixed here. Mick, it's I very don't know confusing. what's happening. I don't either. Um, I don't my, either. My my um, my one of my lit professors or creative writing professors would write all the time. Mm mm mixed metaphor. Or there's so many metaphors here. It's it's one of the uh, it's one of the hardest things about writing. She never let us get by with it. Uh, but so let, who's next? Let's talk about Zenob and Cole. Okay. They are fascinating. Oh, my God. I'm it's, fascinated with watching them. What's fascinating to you? Um, how, how, she, how she communicates and how he keeps trying to make her – he keeps trying to play with her, and she refuses to play in the way he is. And she – she can only play in a passive aggressive fashion or in a kind of a not cruel. That's the wrong word, but in a, and she says, she says everything with either such a half smile or a straight face sometimes. And I but, never yeah. know what she's thinking. I don't either. And Cole, this is in the party, but Cole described it so well. And he said, 
this is part of dating y'all we can't take just people's words and how they say it but it's also he said i imagined her face was smiling when she yeah. said it so i thought she was kidding i didn't realize she was being passive aggressive <laughs> <laughs> but that that is what such a chicken a, ass but it's true that's so true and such a good thing to kind of uh to pull out from this yeah. and I, it it is you use the word he wants to play with her and i do he wants to play with her but I also it's like Oddly enough, Cole, the younger person, I think, wants to be real with her. I think you're right. That's a good and way of putting it. She's not able to be real. She's not able to talk about how she's really feeling and really wanting in this. Because even when they have that conversation, kind of like, and he like, where do you see this going? She's kind of like, well, and she's she's still kind of like that te teasing, taunting. And yeah, but it's, it's, it's hard it's, for her to own up to it. And it's also... It's just a little bit, everything sounds like a put down. Yes. That's and, a, I think I was talking about this last episode, what she, she triggers in me. Cause I've had people in my life like that, that I, I never know if they're being serious or well, not. It's always a, what? It's a, it's a defense mechanism. She's, yeah. and y'all, this is someone who has been very hurt yeah. and definitely had, she's, she's, she's talked about it in her. She's had a lot of grief in her life, but yeah. boy, she's got walls up and and oh. this guy who is so – and, you know, he, I, I said this before. He's jerky. He really is. But he is trying his best. He really is. Uh, and is he, is he doing what, 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 what needs to make her happy? Probably not. But he is trying to make headway, and she just keeps shutting him down. She and does. that passive-aggressive shit would bother me too. Uh, oh, yeah. So – and he he oh. she did say, "Tell me you need some space. I'd rather I'd rather I'd rather you know that beforehand." I don't think she would. Uh, I think think she's she said full that, of shit. Ding ding ding. When she yeah. said that, I was like, "No fucking way would you take that." Well, if he said you need space, you would completely <laughs> blow up on the inside and feel like he doesn't love you or want you anymore. Right. And she even she even says, "I don't think that." Um, we haven't yet matched up to who we were in the pods yet. And so it's basically those those two. And but they fucking really good. They fucking really good. He said four times. Or she said four times. Uh, and Cole said three times. So I think it's three and a half. He probably just like went down on her once. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but I, it's what do you what do you see the significance of that discrepancy? That their sexual relationship seems to be great. It's because I think they're, I think for her, probably it's, I mean, there's a lot of gay men I know like this, honestly, who they're able to, to have sex with their, and be expressive more in their body because that feels less, um, threatening less vulnerable like she's beautiful so maybe she feels powerful more when she's in those situations Whoa, feel a little attacked here <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's it easier go to i, I don't think this that i think and that's <laughs> that's a that's very common like there's raven i think can be like that but where it's also like I bet you, if you talk to her, I bet Zeneb was an early developer. Yeah. I bet she like, because she is, I will say. She's gorgeous. She, I know everyone talks about Raven, but I feel like Zeneb is just as gorgeous. Like, she is a knockout. I agree. She I think so those, beautiful at that those party. Those two, but I think all the women are really beautiful they're, this season. All the women and men, they're all, yeah. they're all beautiful. Like, they're all beautiful. But I, I, I agree with you. They are, I think we both said this, maybe, or maybe we just thought, but they're kind of my favorite couple to watch so far. Oh, it, it's, I, and, and watching him who has probably always gotten women so easily, watching him go for, you can almost watch him, his brain change tactic. Um, and yes. it's so, and he doesn't understand why she, and even at that barbecue later or the party, we'll talk about why he's. He's like, it is so weird to me. And Cole rarely doesn't get what he wants. So that's what's interesting. Yeah, it is. And you know, something else that just kind of hit me, what's different with both of them is probably with any other couple, I feel like both of them actually really want to be with each other. But I agree. They don't, but 
they want to be with each other, but they don't know how. Yeah. They don't know. Whereas like Alexa, Brennan, I'm like, uh, mm. are you in your, where uh. everyone else, with everyone else, I'm like, who's in, who's out. But I have that trust of knowing they want to go forward with this, but can they? Anyway. I let's don't talk know. about the party. Um, yeah. So the big, the big, so they're all meeting everybody. Of course they all. save Raven for last in that fucking oh. mid Y'all, she's wearing that. She's just God. showing off tits. I mean, just, that is a Yo. revenge dress. <laughs> that is a revenge dress, and bitch spent time picking this out. Oh, yeah. She was there to show Bartise what he missed out on, and she he sure was feeling was. that. He was. He was. He was. Um, As soon as she walked in, I went, oh, my. We have planned this. I did was not surprised because they were saving her. I went, of course they're saving her for last. Now, the the two people, the, the, the couples we were watching, y'all, were definitely watching um, Cole when Colleen came in and uh, even, even, even other people. We were watching uh, Colleen when Cole came in and uh, Cole says Colleen is pretty, pretty much attractive, as I would imagine. And, Cole, and Colleen's like, yeah, he is hot. So there is that. Uh, the other, Bartiz sees Raven. And he says, she looks damn good. Look at that tight dress. She is a smoke show. And it's interesting. We don't hear until later on. We I, Until way later on. We don't hear Ravens in the moment for what Bartise looked like. Yeah. We yeah, yeah, do we don't. not hear that. No, we don't. And I think those, the, we, we did the same thing when she, we did not hear what she thought about SK. So these are two big glaring omissions in the kind of fossil record <laughs> so, of this show. Yes. Yeah. And I, that, that's where it bleeds me to like, is that a little bit with Bartis of, we don't know who he is because the editing isn't showing us because they want us to have suspense about it. I don't know. Well, this was, I'm talking about Raven. I know, but right. We, but with the, they're obviously lining up this season for them is going to be about, Bartice and Raven. It's going to be like a Mallory and uh, Kyle, Jarrett. Uh, Jarrett. Like, yeah. Or, God, or a Jessica, show, I, or a Jessica, uh, Jessica Mark slash yeah. Amber. Bar I love Barnett. this show, but it frustrates me because they fuck me over with the editing. And I never know what to believe. It That's makes me saying. not trust myself. The, the editing is tyrannical. And, <laughs> it's, it's and tyrannical. This I'm is telling torturous. You, I'm telling you, Having, <laughs> like I said before, uh, uh, Ben Fankman, who is the editor, I'm just making up a name, said, we're having those goblets so I can do any fucking thing I want. <laughs> I'm all fucking can, these fuckers. I can tell you that we started, I can show you the first scene and then give you scene 20 minutes later and you won't know because those goblets are there. And then I have the power here. Yeah, they did the last Christopher Reeve and James Seymour are going to come out and the somewhere in time <laughs> he's going to play and I'll say Superman was never dead. There you go. That is dated, <laughs> but I get it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Please think, tell how think, old were you as a gay boy? Did you play the somewhere in time theme on the piano? Oh, yes. I told you it was my huge solo in the <laughs> China orchestral tour and it was like full circle. <laughs> When about he, he just pointed to me during things like I'm like, every single night we would do it. I think I am here in front of countless Chinese people I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> countless. And, and they are watching me play the theme from somewhere in time. And somewhere <laughs> my parents who heard me play it a thousand times aren't, aren't even the wiser. It, it is a weird irony. That was su such a weird experience. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was cool wow. though because those those houses and those auditoriums were so big. You, we we would play to like 5,000 people. Oh and, wow. Oh yeah, they were huge. And well, there's a lot of people in China. I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we got to I don't I get That's nervous when we talk about China. I That's get nervous. That's the rumor. Oh. Um so those are the those are the kind of the big things. Uh, then the Lachey's come out, and uh, they're like, "Now you can finally decide who put, putting the voice 
with the person. And remember, you have to marry or never speak again. Yeah, and do then you like, say I do or walk away or forever? Walk away forever and jump off a building. <laughs> As love truly blind. And so they, uh, you know, Matt is still losing his mind over Colleen, telling all the men, oh my God, look at her, blah, blah, blah. And Matt is that drunk guy who gets drunk at the party and wants to be friends with everyone, y'all. He that, is. Yeah. He is. He's just going to tell you, I fucking love you so much, Jay Bird. And of course, Cole says, Colleen is normally the girl I would go for, but I'm an engaged man. Uh, these, uh, th- these things are definitely prompted by production and they have for to sure. be there. Oh, for and, sure. And so they talk about Zenib and Colleen, which you could tell we're even friends in the pod because they talked a lot. Yeah. And, and they, they even said, we fucked the first night too. And they're like, we both said we weren't going to, but we did it. <laughs> and they're both dancing and they're like, you got that D girl. And I'm, I really, it's, I, I really like the relationship. Isn't it interesting that Zineb is a different person when she's with the women? It, 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 it is. It's like when we taught at summer camp and we see those girls, you know, there really isn't, even Raven, I went hard at her at first, but I look at this season. I look at season one and season two, and I know this will change, but I actually, people get on my nerves some. I don't hate anyone on this season. Even Nancy has mellowed for me. I, I like Nancy. Yeah, I, I, I still don't like her. That, the, that, that voice, the, the voice and the laugh get to me. Um, na- but now I'm, now I'm worried and I want to protect her from Bartice. Yeah. <laughs> I, so. All the kind of, I can't, I don't feel safe, so I can't really hate her. <laughs> yeah, you can't. And I honestly don't feel safe this season. Um, no. I, I don't feel safe with anyone. There is no, we, we, had, we had a thought that Cameron and Lauren, the, the new Cameron and Lauren might be Brennan and Alexa because that was what it was like in the pods. That is not the case Boy, outside the pods. We, I, I, I would feel like if anybody, almost Colleen and Matt are more of that. Mm, maybe but still uh, god but, we're wrong a lot i still i think we are wrong a lot but i think it's the editing is absolutely confounding and that's, I know. that's a hallmark of the show i know but every time i say it, you're like it's the editing because you don't want to admit that we just no, got I it said wrong. We're wrong a lot <laughs> <laughs> but i'm saying I, but I'm saying the That's editing you. is the editing no, was that, intentionally last season. The ed, the editing was intentionally deceptive. No, I get it. It's fucking with us. It's fucking with us. I get it. And so, I went on a whole soapbox about how oh, yeah, the, since the since the dawn of time of reality television, I the did, editing should we, be there to tell a story. I yes. Now, yeah. so let's talk about the coal the SK. Off their things. Yeah, I already have. So let's talk about Cole SK and the Bartiz conversation. That's when they're. That's when Cole basically is saying, like, I'm so physically attracted to her. I'm so attracted yeah. to her. But these moments where or we talked about before, we said, I'm, I'm still in the- love, but it's different. He said, I have to adapt uh, and because this is a different person. And now this is the real person. So I need to w- find a way to fall in love with this person, even though I fell in love with someone right. imaginary. Like, right. That- I never it, thought about that when he said that. I went that uh, that I would do that probably. I would picture are, someone. We are. You have to. And that yeah. when Bartiz said, "I didn't have any image in my head." That's garbage. I don't believe that. I think that goes back to he's just like so, just like counting his gym reps and knocking not off his gym <laughs> reps. Like, okay, I did twenty squats. That's because even when it's that thing of like he can't get past like, but you didn't with SK. It's, I mean. Talk, well, actually, talk about somebody who's clueless. The way Boy. SK was describing, he was like, yeah, we're just kind of things are going slow and they're growing. She's but we did on this side of the couch and I'm on this side of the couch. And, and you Cole know, and, things are going slow. And Cole and Bartiz's eyes just both go, what? It's, but you're right. You're right. SK doesn't get it. Maybe he's he too like cerebral to like get that. But no, he didn't get it. He's going to be cuckolded. Yeah. 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 Gonna get cuckolded like in that porn. Okay. <laughs> All right. That is one of the most popular types of porn is cuck porn. <sighs> Y'all don't what, pull over. What is here? <laughs> I'm in Atlanta. 
I'm, I'm 12 floors up and I can hear an ambulance. Don't so, pull over. And Cole also talks about how passive aggressive Zenob can be. And, yeah. and that's when he tells the story about when she, when she was the boss, I thought she was smiling. <laughs> and I will be honest, he's brought up some things about this dynamic that I'd never thought about. Um, like you're saying, I, three seasons, Cole just made me think about this in a different way. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. And God, uh, he is gorgeous. Cole. Yeah. He's too skinny. I'd break him. I'd sit on half of him. He's so and pretty. Break, he's oh, so he'd break like a vanilla wafer. If I, sat I love on a, I love a pretty boy though. With, with long eyelashes, with a pretty smile. Um, That's, and they usually have no money. Anyway, Cole and Bartise, they're talking about in four weeks. Do you think you could see marrying? Uh, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm going to do the rest. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm soaring. It, yeah, it's great. It's great. He's so full of shit. It's just like, I just, I want to hear just a little deliberation. Yeah, you know, I think, I, think. It's, I think it's probably the competitor in him. And it's not even like with other people. It's like if he commits to something, he wants to win at it. This is not this black and white thing you win at. You have to emotionally feel this out, and that's yeah. just not for him. Well, it's interesting because even I would almost rather it be he didn't need to be vulnerable because I find that completely sad. Like you can't have a relationship with someone like that. No, that's I not how relationships Bartiz, work. <laughs> the way he walks in the world is he walks up a mountain, and if he ever gets knocked down, he doesn't still he doesn't look back and see what made him fall. He just goes and walking right back up that mountain. He's just going to keep going. That's what I'm saying. I find that incredibly sad. Yeah, uh, if that's the case. Ugh. So um, they keep talking about she. Uh, SK is talking about the kind of lack of chemistry and Bartiz is like without not even listening because he can't even understand he's like that's weird that's weird and he does kind of talk over I mean he's right that's weird well he does but, say he does say then Bartiz says she told me I was uh, number one and he was number two so obviously she chose him because I wasn't around and I was like oh why, why, why does that have to be a conclusion you make uh, that makes it better for you? Yeah. It's we just like. We finally in that get a little bit of, of, of Raven saying, well, all she says about Bartiz is she's like, well, he said he was muscly and he definitely delivers. And, and, but, but there was nothing she just kind of narrated. There was nothing about he's hot or anything like that. I feel like. I feel like they're not I feel like maybe she's not into him, but they're not going to let us know that. I think you're right. Because I think we w if there was something to be said, we would have heard it. If there was if, if she was going to be a Shayna about this, we would have heard it. Yeah. Uh and then Matt, who I think has probably been drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> says says maybe. Says my biggest fear is that after all this and I'm so into her and I'm giving her my life is that She's playing me. And y'all, this is someone who let's not forget where he came from. <laughs> His high school sweetheart called him one day and said, it's over. They, they were going I, to, yeah. they were going to meet up and talk about it. Then she called him and said, I'm pregnant, but it's not yours. <laughs> the book in this, if it was Lacey from Long, she cheated and then she got pregnant on him and got pregnant, pregnant, pregnant by another babe, pregnant. Um, so that's where he's coming from. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. Um, and uh, so he's he's going to be absolutely wrecked if wrecked. um if she uh if she leaves him. And Bartiz says, this is really interesting, I think. He's like, I closed that door with Raven. We, we're both, but we're both attention getters. God, I hate the way he talks about how he moves through the world. And he I mean, sees other people as almost less than. That's it, what it, it feels like to me. I get that. I 100% agree with you. But I don't know. I don't know if Bartiz... Again, we're still I I don't know if he has awareness because though even the way he says it, it it is a little bit arrogant, but also it's also seems just totally clueless. 
to like yeah. what he's saying. Like I was when he said that, I went, "You're saying the inside part out loud." And literally, <sighs> that's what he does later on at the end of the show. He says the inside part out loud. Yeah, and I just like, whoa! It doesn't. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You're still a dick. No, I'm not disagreeing yeah. with you. I'm just kind of. <laughs> I I was trying to think of like what is. What's the motivation behind you saying that? Because I don't think you're a bad guy. I don't, I don't either. Think you seem like an. You're not an arrogant kind of like douchey Andrew type. And I went. You just seem. Are you that fucking clueless? I think he's had everything. He's gotten as many girls as he's needed to forever, and I don't think he needs to see any other perspective. And so he takes what he has gained from life as fact and he doesn't ever need to think about it empirically it's just yeah. that's that's what that's what it is he just accepts Definitely. everything as fact and which tells me he's not a curious person so no, i, think I don't he's, think he's a curious i think he's curious. probably a little boring that's um, what i'm saying i feel like with this he's like okay we He's just kind of like saying, this is the data. We're going to be together. And he's trying to, um, that's convincing. Yeah. Um, let's let's talk about their conversation at the end on the bed when we were both good. Artis and Nancy. Okay. This is the very end of this, y'all. Uh, they're talking about the other couples. And and he brings up, uh, or or does she say this? I don't know who, who who says this first, but he says, I mean, he says this. Do you have any couples who you think they won't work? And I'm thinking, that's such a weird thing to say right after it may have been producer initiated. I don't know. But it's such a weird thing to say. Um, I, I, especially when you should be working on your own stuff. Uh, it's, now, granted, I can't imagine. This is such a weird position to be in. I know. Like, so maybe, maybe it is normal. Maybe all of them did it. Maybe all I mean, of them did it. Because do you think, is there anything a man could say to you after y'all just went and met his exes that you would not jump down his throat and want to uh, kill him for? It's best not to talk about it. <laughs> um, but I'm saying, but it's he, hard. It's, it's different though. He's saying, so tell me, tell me, girlfriend, who's not going to work out? It's, I'm no, just saying. I, it's, it's weird. It's, I'm not disagreeing. It's weird, but I'm also just going, how do you? And and yeah. y'all, he can't stop talking about. Isn't that weird for SK? Can you imagine a man not being with a woman? Like he said, they were on the other side of the bed. Like and it was can you weird imagine? how like he like set them on the sides of the bed and said, "Can you imagine this?" And even how's Nancy, that not weird? Nancy was in it. And she was saying, "Why are we doing this? This feels well, weird." You know, the translation of all this all is like, well, obviously, if she would have been with me, we would have been all over each other, and like she just needs a real man. That was the translation of everything, and it was gross to me. And ugh. Uh, it what it felt. You don't have to talk about me. Thinks you protest too much about how much better your relationship is than everybody else's because you don't have the security of knowing your relationship is better. And he and like when yeah. when he when he described, I I don't want to. He could have said, "Yeah, she's attractive." You don't have to say that Raven is a smoke show and fucking hot. Right. You don't have to use those. You can say, yeah, Raven's attractive, but I think well, you're beautiful. Like, no. What, what, he's, what, what he said next was even worse. Because she was saying, you know, I had SK in my top four, but I'm good now. Which is a nice let's go to bed situation. He says, because, and I think it's an ego thing. He said, well, I had the exact opposite reaction. You know, I was seeing Raven for the first time. She's like the typical girl I'd really go for. And and she's like, and I went, really? And you, you saw it? Nancy's eyes change. You know, and she's like, said, you know. I had to go with my gut. And then and um, she's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, you know, we're both the people that people normally go for. I'm like, stop it. Stop talking like this. It was not great. And uh, he's like, I just want you to know that I cried over you and Raven. Because, like, that's weird because guys don't cry. Think about that. I cried over both of you. And I'm like, what are, what are you hoping to get from this? Uh, and then that, it gets even yeah. worse. Yeah. He says, you know, I had feelings for multiple women. Stop talking. <laughs> and then Nancy's like, finally, in her leg, she's like, what the fuck? Don't. Don't don't do this. 
don't start talking. Don't go to a competition where uh, don't go to a don't go to a go to a bodybuilding competition. Don't go to an experiment where you're trying to meet someone who is for for looks like this. And she's right. This is it's a okay, shitty it's discussion. Okay. It's okay that I'm dishonest with you, right? When he asks that, <laughs> but, and she goes, mm-hmm. but that is weaponized honesty. That's that's the kind of honesty that will ne- that won't hurt anybody that will that, that will only serve to hurt someone. But, and this is well where I come back to on that. I don't know, like you said it when he doesn't have curiosity. I don't know if he has the emotional intelligence to even know what he said was hurtful. Yeah. That's where I that's where I'm like where are you in this? Are you trying to be a dick or are you just that emotional? Well, are you just that dense? What what about it would let's think the best. What could he have thinking he was meaning by saying all that? To I her? think he could be saying I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be so radically honest because if I'm really honest, then she'll then she'll trust me and she won't doubt anything because I'm being radically honest because it doesn't right. matter because I'm with her and I want to be with her. So in other words, it doesn't really matter what I say as long as it's exactly how I feel. A hundred percent radically the truth, even if it's because I'm telling you the truth. So I'm good. I think he probably thinks in very binary. I'm good guy, bad guy. I'm a good yeah. guy because I'm telling you the whole truth. I'm not going around behind your back. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. It's just imagine if Barnett said that to Amber. She would uh castrate him in his sleep. <laughs> she would kill him like a praying mantis after yeah. sex. No, and that's the thing. Nancy's never gonna be able to say that to him. No. She said it in the in the moment, but like I just <sighs> Oh God, this show's good. Yeah. That's the show, y'all. That's the episode. Oh, Yikes. y'all. And then we have like in the coming to see, we've got Matt crying and saying, I can't get married. I mean, any, any, any relationship we thought was safe doesn't look it. No one is safe. Truly. <laughs> Just like me and a gay bar full of tops. Nobody's safe. Boy, I wish they had those. They don't really make those anymore, do they? They don't. They no, don't. It's like, uh. You got to go to like Bullet Bar and Burbank. And the only time you can see the bottoms is they're just sitting there. They got colostomy bags. (laughs) What? uh, Who was it? Somebody just told. That's true. Someone just told me this. uh, They. Who was it? Somebody just said, you know, I probably told you this before, but uh, when I. uh, I used to know my friend who was a drag queen. And when she would land in L.A., she's like, oh, Los Angeles, the cities where there's the city where there's more tank tops than there are just tops. (laughs) True. That's the truth. True. New York is worse, I find. All right, everybody. That's the <laughs> show. I don't know how to That's respond to that. That's my experience. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Uh, we hope you enjoyed seeing us live. We sure had a great time. Especially what when about that- the time I brought out that big cat? <laughs> yes, yes. And and when that dinosaur just came out from the earth and, and almost swallowed the audience hole, that was scary, but we all made it out. It was fine. It now was I'm fine. having a don't pull over. Oh, I can't hear it. So okay, we're good. good. All right, everybody. That's the show. Thank y'all so much for supporting us. And, you know, we were talking a little bit about Lalu. If you're on our Reality Gates Plus thing, you should be getting love after lockup. It is the this and week. The, the, the this week's episode, season, did you watch it? I haven't watched it yet. The oh, new season of Love good. During Lockup, y'all, this is going to drop. This is dropping the same on the week. 20th. Yeah. This so the new week. season of Love Love During Lockup drops tomorrow. So this is a great, if you're like, I don't know, but I'm, it's great. The first, the first episode is on it. uh, The first episode will be out for free so you can try it. And then if y'all are on the $5 tier of reality gates extra, extra, you are going to need to jump to the $8 tier for love after lockup because, because it's like 54 seasons long. Like this show never stops. That's the cringe tier. Lalu is on the cringe tier, but it is always good. Y'all always not like 90 days. It's the best best show show on television. So good. So good. So anyway, y'all, three dollars more a month will get you that. And All right, Lalu everybody. show in DC was fantastic. Oh my <laughs> god! I didn't. We know had a Day- special guest there. When who Deontay I think he showed actually up. showed when he showed his dick, when I couldn't believe it. He actually showed up. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. It was a great time. <sighs> <laughs> we gave him a gift. 
All right, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to give you a gift and end this show. We'll see you next week, y'all. Remember, or we'll see you next episode. But remember, episode. keep asking yourself, what, what's that eternal question, Poodle? Is love blind? Love is blind. Love is blind. It's reality.